At long last, the time for a new land is upon us. Finally. Samaru is now open for business. I don't know what this wants from me. Don't know what that wants from me either. I'm just going to ignore them because that's how life works. Um, I don't want either of the guys. I don't mean gender, just people uh, in this particular banner. Uh, they're both archers from what I am aware. So I don't have any interest in the five star or the five star there. So I will not be pulling on this first banner for... Oh, this is going to complain to me, isn't it? Um, for the first banner, it is quite pretty though, this, this particular weapon, uh, of the Sumeru banners. <laughs> I don't know how to finish the sentence. Um, and again, I, I don't want any of these characters as secondaries and I've never had any interest. That's not true. There was a time there when I wanted Zhongli because I felt that he was a strong character, but that desire quickly went out the window, so we won't worry about that anymore. So I will not be pulling on these banners at all. So I've got to wait at least another 16-ish days before I can see if there's anything I want out of it. And we'll go from there. Oh, I just realized it's an archer run. That is not even the wish button. I don't even know what the wish button is in this game. Archer, 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 archer. <laughs> I only just realized, wow, I'm slow. Actually, I put up and say I was slow. I just, oh, there gosh. Was a glorious I just never noticed until that moment in time. All right. Well, uh, predictably, we will be starting Sumeru because why the freak not? Oh my gosh, I am pretty excited to get in. Grave and Innocence. And we'll look at that. Complete prerequisite quest. Okie dokie. I'm going to assume you've given that to me anyway. Test run. Oh, what the hell. Let's test run the Verdant Strider. Tignari? Tigna? Dude, I do not know how to pronounce your name at all. I'm not even remotely close to getting that correct. I apologize. That's not your fault. I've just not heard it audibly as of yet. Alrighty, his aim shot can be charged twice to fire a wreath arrow, which will generate homing cluster bloom arrow after hitting. His elemental skill can create a Vijnana Kanda field that can confuse opponents and decrease the charging time of the next three wreath arrows. When he uses elemental burst, he will fire a great number of homing tanglevine shafts. These tanglevine shafts will create secondary shots after hitting. Alrighty, how are you for character design? Uh -huh. Opera. Don't move. Okay, I'm not too sure. Sorry, wrong button. About this. I don't really know what that is, other than it looks a bit odd. I do like the golden filigree there. I love this green to yellow colour. It is beautiful. Eh, not so fast on your tail, but that sashy bit. Nice. Uh, I mean, it's pretty. I don't know that I'd want it on him, but it's, it's quite pretty. Uh, no, sister dear. I'm busy trying to record. I will take your call later. Don't know about his gloves either. I don't seem the biggest fan if of the big chunky bits at the end. His ears are freaking adorable. Bookmark. I love these. Oh, and he's got a little earring too. That is so cute. I am all for that. Don't know that I like the colour of the lime with the blue. I mean, it, it works. Just don't think I like it per se. Yeah, his eyes are alright. Huh? I have to say this ball is adorable. I don't know what it's for. Again, I think he's just got a mishmash of colours, and I'm not really vibing with the mash of colours. It just looks like it's a lot in your face. So, sir, you're definitely not my kind of guy, but I do love this, this green thing back here, and your ears. Adorable. Anywho, you're an archer, so I'm not going to uh, enjoy you playing as you as much as I would, say, literally any other character. Okay. Am I supposed to have held E? I, I did hold E, by the way. Okay, it does indeed stun him. That's nice. I like a bit of stun action because then I don't even need to use the archer. Oh, yeah. He's very confused. This is great. You know, you might not be quite so bad there, sir. Pop you in the rotation. Yeah. Oh, God. Can you please stop that? I need to cure ability you. I hear everything. Well, with those ears, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh my god. That just as another one. Decimated. Excuse me, sir. Let's nip that in the bit of that for you. 
Oh my god, the damage. And I love seeing the green. The green numbers. Oh, it's, it's something we haven't seen before and it's beautiful. Well, actually, it's not true. We may have seen it with the dendro slimes. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that. Can't see. I'll uproot you. I'll uproot you. <laughs> oh man, you're adorable. Wait, Collie! Co Collie! Co what's up? Whatever her name is here. Oh, wait, well, um. This means I won't be evaluating your outfit, dude. Because we're kind of looking at you now. I like her headpiece. I like her hair. Ah! I don't like the green of the top part of her clothing. I like her scarf. Bruh. I'm busy here. I like her stockings and her leg. Oh, the little, little high. Um. Yeah. What's it called? The thing on her thigh? God, I'm blanking. Don't like her shoes, but I like. I like most of her outfit. She's got this. Oh, her vision's got that, those feathers hanging off it. It's pretty. So I like most of her outfit. Excuse you, sir. Oh, come on, Q ability. Q. Yes, Q. Okay. Well, that's certainly interesting. One with the forest. I hear everything. Yeah, so you'd sort of just use his abilities and then get him out of there, but that's true of most of my characters anyway. I'll uproot you. God, the damage. Obviously, this is a high spec character, like obscenely high level. La level 80, probably. Ow. That was terrible dodging. Try this on Versailles. You heard the girl. Boom. Obviously, very slow, but I did enjoy it nonetheless. Do you get extra rewards for doing her separately? I mean, yes, but no. Rukashva. 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 Mushrooms. I guess that's a new thingy. Yeah, so I don't I don't mind her outfit. Um I like I like this. Are they feathers? No, I think it's just fabric. I don't think it is feathers. Maybe they're designed to look like leaves. Maybe? I don't know. I think that's cute coming off her green vision. Because it's the first time we've seen a green vision. That's not true. Pharmacy gentleman, whose name I never remember, has a green vision, but I don't remember it being that colour. That beautiful shade of green. I don't remember. Hmm. But yeah, as a whole, I do I do like your outfit. Just, just not this color green up here. It's, it's a bit ugh. Okay, we can do your story. Hey, good for you. Dharma Forest. New area unlocked. A fragrant wind comes from the west of the rainforest, carrying stories that have never been heard. The nation of wisdom sleeps soundly under the green veil, and all creatures sing under the cleansing rainwater. And with the luxuriant branches and leaves, the new chapter of the journey unfolds. Mirkwood? Really? Mirkwood? Mirkwood? Shouldn't that be, like, trademarked? Although, to be fair, Mirkwood is usually spelled with an I. But I still feel like that should be trademarked. A fantasy-themed concept with Mirkwood. Mm. Fungal Raptor. Oh, you look fun. That's you. I have to stifle a smile every time mm, I remember the as per look usual. No tishes. Bloody hell, there are a lot. And nope, don't hit that button. It will take you out of the game. Ooh, prime a gem me up, please. I'm pretty sure they do that uh, at every. I was gonna say expansion, but that is completely and utterly not the right word to be using. Okay, and it is time. I sort of feel like I probably should have gotten new characters for now, rather than having the same story. Uh, sorry, same characters for the next story, but yeah, it is what it is. This one? Yes. Forest of Change. Through mists of smoke and forests dark. Chapter 3, Act 1. 
Go to the land of the Dendro Argon. You and Pam arrive in Sumeru, and you prepare to find a way to get an audience with lesser Lord Kusanali. Yes, please. Uh, yes. I'm assuming I'm going to Lewa somewhere. Lewa, let's just go to Monster. What? Why would you? Kalili Lewa. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't. Ha! <laughs> I never even got that. Is that something I could have gotten? I just didn't. I mean, to be fair, I never found that. That's that's funny, sad, but funny. <laughs> Oops, sirens. Two of them. I can never tell the difference between the sirens in my own country. How sad is that? Is it just there or is it down? Very, very, very far down. How far down are we talking? Because now I'm curious and I just want to get it on principle alone. But I don't know. Ah, too far. No, well, we're committed now. I don't see it. Mm. Is it on this bit of rock? Yes, here it is. Are we actually going this way? We might actually be going through here. I was just coming here for the, the teleport waypoint, which actually makes me think that it is new. And we go through the mines to access uh, the, the tunnel to Samaru. Maybe, just maybe. Also, you know, maybe not. Cave could just be a cave. <gasps> no, this is definitely it. Look at the new roots and shit. Oh, hi. Yes, this is it. Oh, spiderwebs. Oh, look at this cute little lantern. Oh, it's so adorable. I love fantasy-based lanterns. I, I, I just think that they look so cool in games. I'm coming. I'm sorry, Seely. I, I promise I'm coming. I'm just getting distracted by all the things to see and do along the way. Continue through the forest. Oh, excited feeling. Hello! Dude, I was greeting the toucan. Have some respect. Four leaf sigil exploration knowledge. This crest, which looks like a four petaled flower, will sometimes appear in Sumeru. I can guarantee you I will miss it every time. When those who can manipulate the elements are... <gasps> My traveler gets a new element. We might have to put the traveler back in the party. God, she is so underleveled. It's not funny. But we should probably see what uh, what her ability is. Oh, and then I have Dendro for the next 16 days. Oh my God. Why did I not think about this? Oh my God. I really didn't think... Anyway, I'm distracted. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just got distracted by ether on the screen. Uh, sometimes you will find cluster leaves of cultivation that can scatter these four leaf sigils around. Use the ability... You haven't actually told me what the freak they do. Oh, I already scrolled and missed the middle sentence. I was distracted because I wasn't looking at my screen as I was uh, coming to this realization. Uh, they can use it to travel swiftly. Actually, you know what? No, I don't think it's specific enough for my liking. Okay, and what do you mean by someone who can use the elements? Oh, I just look at it and press T. I mean, I kind of feel like I'm missing out here. Okay. Huh. <laughs> That's a thing. What do you know? That was actually quite fun. I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> Hmm. Except now I gotta go back Things to get the quest. A too Wait, oh, that was a Sealy. That was a Sealy, right? <laughs> it's right there. Now that we made it to Samaru, our next objective should be to head to Samaru City and find a way to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. It's it's actually just called Samaru City. That's pretty boring. And speaking of Lesser Lord Kusanali. Even though we haven't heard too much about her, she doesn't seem to be the same deity who abducted your brother. As a side note, um, there's a silly, we haven't finished our journey. As a side note, why do they never get creative with their city naming? Mondstadt is the capital of Mondstadt. Liwa Harbor is the capital of Liwa. Inazuma City is the capital of Inazuma. And now, Sumeria City is now the capital of Sumeria. Like, come on guys, can we get original? Please? Even just for one of your nations? But even so, people call Samaro the nation of wisdom, you know. 
If we can get a chance to meet the God of Wisdom, maybe she can give us some useful information. Uh, wise and knowledgeable are two very different things, Paimon. All right, sounds like a plan. But, uh, Paimon doesn't know the way to Samara City. Maybe we can climb up to that spot with the Statue of the Seven on it. That'll give us a way better view of things. I mean, it doesn't look too high and, you know, jungle kind of blocks your view, but sure, Paimon, Even let's do that. Even if we can't see exactly where the city is, at least we'll be able to check for some smaller settlements nearby. My point still stands, but okay. Oh, Hel hello? Look, there's someone up ahead. Hi, I'm new. Perfect timing. Now we can just ask for directions rather than wander around like lost adventurers. But we are lost adventurers. Hey there. <laughs> We're not from around here and seem to have gotten a little lost. We'd like to ask for some directions. She gives zero fox, huh? Paimon. Uh, did they not hear Paimon? Hey, you over there. Could you give us some directions? I mean, are you deaf? Even if we somehow didn't speak the same language, that really annoying chirpy voice is very audible and, and, and audible. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, huh? What the hell's wrong with you? What's going on here? There's no way she could have missed that. <gasps> Wait, could she be ignoring us? How dare she? I don't know, it was pretty hard. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Calm down, it's probably nothing to get worked up about or maybe there's a reason she ignored us. Hmm. Well, even so, she might be heading someplace where we could find other people to ask. Let's keep our distance and follow her. You just said to go to the statue. <sighs> I swear sometimes you have ADHD, Paimon. When we get the chance, we'll just ask someone else for directions. So we're not going to the statue now? I'm so confused. Oh, look at the tree. Tree pretty. Come on, let's follow her. Okay, so you just did go to your home. Quiet. Awesome. Make sure she doesn't notice us. Oh, this... Massive flowers. Uh, well, I'm gonna go that way. Hi. Yeah, I. Yeah, I'm going this way. Tia, Tia, Tia. Oh, hello. Hara fruit. <gasps> Look at the springy frog. Hey, there's someone else here. Anyway, I would like to go this way. And then kind of pathetically climbed this. Are you stone? I think it's stone. I certainly improved the texture though. Ugh. Sorry, Jean, that looks negatively awkward. I apologize. Oh, pretty. And all it is is a leaf. Okay, hi. I can't really see Lesser Lord Kusanali. Ooh, what are they? It's so green. I like, I found the city. Nice. Oh, hello. <laughs> What were those? I, I don't even know, but they were cute. Lenar, did you see them? I saw them. Little round plant like things, right? Gone, just like that. We should ask around when we get a chance. Is that a side quest? Nope. I, can, can, can I commune, please? Blessing. No, not what I meant to do, okay. How do I? How do I get all dendroy? Don't you know what? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's level sixty. Just what will we? Can you touch it and and make good on? You? There you go. That's what I needed. Resonate with dendro. The essence of flora. Okay, now that you're seeing green on your shit, that's gonna conflict with the blue massively, but okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. I want that button. Hey, it's pretty green. Uh, 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 uh tell Warren Field Cleaver, cool. Raise a grass blade. With the flourish of your blade, I don't think you have. Oh, I think Shingchu has your blade, dear. Uh, you unleash a spray of razor sharp leaves that go before you and deal dendro damage. This is a cute ability, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Calling upon the might of the flora all around you, you create a Lee. Leo? Lee? Lotus Lamp. This lamp will deal continuous dendro damage to opponents within its AOE. Oh, that's nice. Lotus Light Transfiguration. The Lee Lotus Lamp will undergo the following changes after it comes into contact with Hydro. Oh, maybe I should put you in position number four then, if you start. Oh, but it is a Q ability. Mm. Uh, into contact with Hydro, Electro, Pyro. Hydro Lamps, AoE, and AoE of its attack is increased. Hey, well that's what it would be, Ayato. Electro, the lamp's attack speed is increased. Oh, but then Beta, also useful. Pyro, I still want to get Pyro on my party. The lamp will explode after a short delay and then disappear, dealing AoE dendro damage. Eh. The only lotus lamp can only undergo one lotus light transfiguration in its duration. Only one lamp created by the traveler can exist to anyone. Okay. This sounds fun. Problem is, you're underleveled as fuck. Do I have what I need to ascend you? Thank God I do. And we learned Verdant Luxury. Okay, just level you up. Even though these materials were for other people, go right ahead and use them all. Yeah, man. Yeah, just like we wanted to any other characters at all. All right. Can we send you to a D? Boom, skis. And spend more of these on you leveling. God, it's almost a hundred just to get you to the next level. Good lord. To be fair, I've got a thousand of those, so, you know, no big loss. And I kind of send you further because I need to do, yep, that's what I figured. Plus, you know, that, that old chestnut. Yay! It's been a while since we had blue. All right, I am interested in that. However, what do you even have equipped? Prototype Rancor. Where did you get that from? What level is it? What are the answers to all my questions? Yeah, that's fine. Wait, why do those items expire? I have no idea. Da, 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 da. There you are, level seven. <laughs> yeah, it sounds about right. Why do you have this weapon? Physical damage bonus and base attack is pretty meh. On hit normal, or charge attacks increase attack and defense by 4% for 6 seconds, max for stacks. This effect can only occur once. I mean, I don't dislike it. Do you want the uh, sword from Ayaka? I'm, I'm kidding, guys, don't worry. Do I want to level it up? I mean, I don't really have much else floating around other than the Festering Desire, which is for energy recharge. Undying Admiration. Increase elemental skill damage by 28% and elemental skill crit. Ah, fudge it. Put this on you. I don't, mm, I don't like the pink though. I gotta, gotta be honest, I don't like looking at the pink. I had the same problem with Shintu. I didn't like seeing it. Okay, first question of the day, guys, that I'm posing to you. Which of the weapons I currently have that someone else isn't already using should I be using for the Traveler? Should I be using Festering Desire or should I level up my prototype Rancor? I'm going to equip this in the meantime because obviously she needs a better weapon. But is there something else? Let's tell you, Polar that I have that she should be using, that I should be leveling. Um, the flute, that sounds pretty. Grant a harmonic, that sounds like way too much effort. But yeah, do, do I have something that I should be leveling up here? Like that? 
I don't even know who that's for. Is that for... Kazuha. Yes, I hardcore forgot his name. So yeah, let me know so I can change it to that. For now, we're just going to equip onto Lunara. Ha ha, first dead roll. Alrighty, so she has slightly better attack than she had two seconds ago. That is a good start. However, I think you're very far behind everybody else. Okay, max HP 15,000. I thought max HP 20. Oh, fudge muffins, you don't have any artifacts. <gasps> this is the problem of putting you in parties. Dude, I don't have anything for you. I don't, I don't have anything, I don't, hmm. I didn't really get anything geared towards the Traveler. Uh, yeah, maybe I should be, maybe I should focus on getting the Traveler a set just in case I decide to use her outside of my normal groups, which I feel like doing right now. Um, yeah, okay guys, can you recommend the optimal set for the Traveler? Uh, and maybe I will have to go find that because, ooh, in remembrance of viridescent fields. That sounds so cool, but you don't do spell damage anymore. Hmm. But in any case, yep, let me know. I'm, I'm going to have to do something about that because, yeah, I currently have her with absolute shite and uh, she has like zero HP as a result. So that... That's, it's gonna go great. So she's down a bunch of HP. Her attack is down by 800 comparatively. Defense is down 200. Elementary mastery, elemental mastery actually isn't bad. So, inquiring minds want to know, guys. Let me know. Yeah, okay. She's got issues, but that's fine. We'll work through our issues together. God, I spent so much more. Jesus Christ. Just as well I have some. Alrighty. I don't know whether I should just try her ability. That was cool. I enjoyed that. Yeah, see, I don't like the pink of the weapon. Anywho, I achieved what I wanted to achieve, which was to unlock Dendro on Hi, my traveler. Those lands look very steep. Distracted. Let's go complete this quest. I'm trying to tea, but I guess you can't tea mid mid flight. Oh, um, I I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting to land on those, but I guess not. So pretty. We're going this way. Oh, we're cutscening. Never mind. She just walked near that small waterfall and then suddenly vanished. Let's go take a closer look. One, waterfall over here. Not quite so small and not quite so near. And two, she didn't vanish. She just walked away. I am now very wet. Paimon thought this cave would lead to a village or something. But, uh, it looks like that's not the case. Uh, I see a dream catcher. Look, I'm all for it. She's sitting over there. Wait, she couldn't possibly be living here, could she? I hope not. There's not exactly much here. Uh... What should we do now? Do we try asking her for directions again? Sure, let's give it another shot. Maybe we shouldn't bother her. I mean, she probably doesn't want to be bothered, but you know, we've come this All far. Right, then. Let's commit. It's not like we have anyone else we can ask. Even if she's not very friendly, we just need her to point us in the right direction. That's all. I also don't like the color of her hair. It's a very horrible shade of green. However, I do like the style of her hair because I like braids. I mean, that's more of a, uh, a rope twist than a braid, but I am still on board for it. And I love this this little bolero? Is that what you would call it? It looks like a bolero. I, li I like that. It's pretty. Oh! Mm. What a lovely smell! Are you guys gonna get charmed by the uh, perfume? It's coming from that sensor over there. This is definitely not your typical place to call home, but at least it smells nice. <laughs> mm. Maybe living here wouldn't be too bad after all. Uh, hard ground, Paimon. Very hard ground, no bed. Bugs. All the things. Oh dear. Huh? What's the matter? You don't look too good. I smell it. Something's not right, told you. What? Is the smell making you feel sick? Strange. Paimon doesn't feel anything. Yeah, but you're not human, so, you know. 
I've got to get out of here. I think I'm gonna pass out. We only just got here and we're already passing out. Wow. Why doesn't she go harass the old lady? Out of curiosity. What a weird old lady. Ooh, a forest of change that follow the voice. Oh, oh, look at it. That just reminds me, that little middle part there, totally reminds me of the tree from the, I don't know what you call it, a God of War, the, the, the rune table, where you, where you can use the runes to go to different realms. The realm travel room, yeah, that might be it. That reminds me of um, Yggdrasil and the way it sort of broke in the middle of where you could change uh, the realms. Here's your pretty. I assume we're going in that direction. I cannot sprint, by the way. I can only skip along. A little jaunty pep to my step. Oh, it's gorgeous. Are those spirits? Or just light? Oh no, what is happening to this place? Oh, I thought the whole place was like falling down around me, but no, it's not. I overreacted, sorry. Ooh, we are now on fluffy grass. Stick on sprint. Oh, the mist actually looks pretty good. Is that literally all she experiences? Please tell me she gets a little more than that. Nope, that's it. It's not pre-educational, is it? 